When the rupee's value slumped from 55 to 65 between January and September of 2013, India started to feel the heat with rupee depreciating over 18% within 9 months. And here we are in 2022 when the rupee has plunged to a new historic low. It was the first time ever in the history of rupee that it breached the 80 mark against dollar, a psychological significant rate. So far in 2022, India's rupee has lost nearly 7.5%. And yet, it isn't Asia's worst performing currency. If we compare the historic data, since December 31st, 2014, the value of rupee declined from 63.33 against a dollar to 80.06 this month. This is a depreciation of 26.27%. On the flip side, a rising dollar is surely not a favorable scenario for the Indian rupee. The geopolitical crisis and related uncertainties in wake of the Russia-Ukraine war has added to the woes of most economies. Now the real concern for every Indian is, how does this bad performance of the rupee impact us? For students set to travel abroad, the same currency was 73 rupees to a dollar is now hitting 80, which means they will need to recalibrate all the calculations and budgeting that they did for not just the travel but even day-to-day -day living expenses. India buys crude oil, plastic materials, electronic goods, mobiles, cars, vegetable oil, gold and many more items by paying in dollars to other countries. With a dip in rupee, importing items will be more expensive. The falling rupee is also likely to impact spending decisions of households as certain things may become expensive. So as the rupee declines, what is RBI doing about it? RBI says that the bank would not permit any abrupt fall of rupee against the dollar. So the RBI has been aggressively selling billions of dollars to increase its foreign exchange reserves to protect the rupee from a rapid devaluation. But unfortunately, currency management is not that simple. As per analysts, the rupee will continue to lose value in the upcoming months. Despite all these concerns, many experts believe that the falling rupee isn't a sign of weakness. They claim that keeping a currency too strong for too long renders uncompetitive exports for the country. So a falling rupee may mean a boost in exports. Though contrary to it, few exports are price sensitive and they tend to do well when there is upsurge in foreign income. So a weak global economic growth means lower demand for price sensitive items that comprise a major chunk of India's exports baskets. The dollar has appreciated sharply against all currencies, not just Indian rupee. But the pace at which rupee has depreciated in the last three to four months, RBI has a fine line to walk. While arresting the rupee's fall, the central bank will also need to address the issue before it impacts India's economy.